56 years to the day after Oklahoma's lone win over Notre Dame propelled the Sooners to their third national title, Oklahoma found itself double-digit favorites here at home, expected to get win number two in the series of ten, this time against an Irish team with a very stout defense, but a questionable resume. Record 86,031 packed into Memorial Stadium for what was billed as one of the biggest games ever to be played in Norman. Sooners had outscored their last three opponents 156 to 48, while the Fighting Irish had used some luck to squeak past Stanford and BYU in the past couple of weeks. Oklahoma was 34 and 1 at home under Bob Stoops against non-conference foes. But immediately after taking a 3-0 lead nearly 8 minutes into the game, the Sooners quickly relinquished it as Sierra Wood went straight up the gut for 62 yards and the touchdown. The Irish led 7-3 midway through the first. Wood ran seven times for 74 yards. Due to lack of action, we now jump ahead to the fourth quarter, with the Sooners trailing 13-6. That's when Landry Jones found Jalen Saunders cutting across the middle. The 5'9", 160-pound junior displays his uncanny quickness and getting 35 yards on the play. Down to the 17-yard line of the Irish, Saunders caught 15 passes for 181 yards. Blake Bell came in to finish off the drive and first threw a jump pass to Trey Millard for an eight-yard gain. Down to the one-yard line. It's the first time we've seen a pass out of the belldozer. Next play, Bell is holding on to the ball this time, powering his way into the end zone from one yard out. It's tied at 13. That's the first rushing touchdown the Irish have allowed this season. Bell ran four times for six yards. But only two plays into their subsequent drive, Notre Dame strikes gold again, this time through the air, as sophomore quarterback Everett Golson finds freshman receiver Chris Brown for a 50-yard gain on the play-action pass. Five plays later, Golson would keep it himself. He snuck in from one yard out for the score. It's 20-13 Notre Dame with about five minutes remaining in the game. All you had to do was get in the end zone and we'd be headed for a heck of a treat. But when Landry Jones passed to Jalen Saunders was tipped, who else but Irish linebacker Manti Teo dives in there for the interception. Teo led the Irish with 11 tackles. He has five interceptions on the season already. Notre Dame would get the 46-yard field goal to go up by 10 and would add one more for good measure. As the Irish once again get the better of the Sooners, 30-13, Oklahoma is now 1-9 all-time versus Notre Dame. Sooners throw for 364 yards, but are outgained on the ground by the Irish 215-15. Like Kansas State, Notre Dame didn't make mistakes. The Irish have no turnovers and only one penalty for five yards. Oklahoma becomes the fourth top 25 team to fall victim to Notre Dame this season. It stinks to lose, but, but in the end, let's recognize we played a really good football team, and we're there with five, a little over five minutes to go with an excellent opportunity to win. And again, I'm not looking at any rose, I'm not looking through any rose-colored glass or trying to act like getting a moral victory here for sure. But, but in the end, we've got a lot of Big 12 games coming that, that, that you know, that we need to get in position to win and recognize what's positive, what's good, and, and what are still some areas that we got to try and keep improving and, and uh, have a good attitude about it and, and uh, keep pushing forward. Uh, you know, I think I did pretty good in the first quarter. You know, I can't just keep sitting on that. I got to move on, of course. Uh, we got a whole game to play. Uh, other than that, my, I guess you guys can say it was a more victory for me, but you know, I don't look at it. As that, I'm a team player. I was just doing my job, and uh, I'm just, you know, disappointed we took this loss. You know, just did some things really well at times. Uh, did some good things in, in tempo, and then other times that in, in our tempo it wasn't good, and we didn't execute well enough. And, and ultimately, you just don't execute the way you need to against a really good uh, defense and a good football team to to win a ball game. 
every time we got momentum in the game, we kind of lost it immediately, and that's uh, that's that's the disappointing part. Uh, the fourth quarter, in these two losses, we just didn't play good enough against good football teams. Our execution wasn't good enough, um, really, in any capacity. So you know that was that was disappointing. Uh, we didn't play better down the stretch. Uh, it sucks. It hurts. This one hurt, but uh, we've got to show some character and you know turn around and you know we got five games left. See what we can do. We're we're so much better than we were from the the start of the season this year. Um, yeah, we hit a little bump in the road, you know, but um, it's it's going to work out. Um, maybe the national championship's not in in the picture anymore. Uh, that one's probably gone. But we still have the Big 12. We still have a bowl game up in front of us, you know. And um, yeah, it's just it's just see what kind of character we have and how much we like playing football, how much we love this game, and um, how much glory that we want to give to God right now. Just we even by the fact we get to come and play a game of, of football, you know, and just have fun out there. And sure, we wanted things to go a little different tonight, but um, at the end of the day, that's not the way it worked out. So just as Thunder fan favorite James Harden hits the road, so do the Sooners chances at an eighth national title. Next up, Oklahoma will take on the Cyclones 11 a.m. on Saturday morning in Ames, Iowa, where the Sooners will fight to stay in contention for a title of the Big 12 variety. Reporting from Owen Field in Norman, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.